Hello friends. Today in this session you will learn LCM and HCF of fractions. You will see. LCM and HCF of fractions. Generally we know the integers or natural numbers LCM and HCF. Before doing the fractions let us understand the LCM and HCF concept of the integers. LCM is least common multiple. It's a least common multiple. So in multiples we should write the least one which are common. For example, so there are three methods are there to find LCM or HCF. So simple method we'll see. For example, 24 and taken with some 14. So generally division method is easiest in find out LCM. You know all the things. So the common value which is divisible by both is 2. 2 into 12 and 7. Again there is no common between 12 and 7. So directly we can multiply. That is 2 into 12 into 7. So this result if you multiply that is LCM. Similarly, HCF also you are familiar about that. There is highest common factor or else we can call it as GCD. Greatest common divisor. For example, same numbers if you take 24 and we will do in the division method. 24 with 14. It's the smallest one you have to divide. 14 ones are 14 here. And remind this 10. Afterwards, this 14 will keep in this place. So this is the dividend, divisor, quotient and reminder. Now this divisor will come to dividend place. 10 ones are 10, 4. Should not take the decimals. Again the 10 will come in this place as the divisor. Now 4 twos are 8 and 2. Finally you can take that 4 here. So 2 twos are 4. Until you get remainder as 0. We should do this process. Now the left, the balance left in this place that is this. So this is the HCF of 24 and 14. So balance after getting remainder 0 the divisor place which is that is a number. So 2 is HCF. So okay that regarding that. Now if you see that LCM and HCF of the fractions generally if they give fractions now for example find LCM of 2 by 3 comma some 8 by 15 2 by 3 is one fraction and 8 by 3 is one more fraction so this is 3 2 by 3 comma 8 by 15 so it's a simple formula is there for LCM and LCM for fractions that is LCM of any integers, so any fractions, LCM of like A by B, comma C by D, anything. So so on, not only 1, 2, infinity can take. A by B, comma C by D, comma E by F. So let A by B and C by D, E, F, e by F are the fractions. And so on. That is LCM of numerators. That means A, C, E. We should take LCM of that. LCM of A, C, E and so on. What are the numerators? By HCF of denominators. HCF of the denominators. Which are in this formula B, D, F and so on. So these are all the HCF of denominators. Same. LCM of fractions. So LCM of 2 by 3 and 8 by 15. So as per formula LCM of 2 comma 8 by divided by HCF of 3 comma 15 will take. So in like our normal method we can find out the LCM and HCF. So LCM of 2 comma 8. So if you know that this method 2 comma 8. So 2 table, 2 ones and 2 fours. 4 table 1 and 1. So finally 2 fours are 8. So that is the LCM we know. We should write answer as this. By 3 by 15 HCF. 
so HCF uh, division method 15 is the big one we divide with small 3 it's directly divisible 3 5 is a 15 so remainder is 0 once you get remainder to 0 the divisor place is a HCF that is 3 so yes 8 by 3 is the LCM of 2 by 3 comma 8 by 15 is the answer so it's formula not only for 2 fractions we can use for multiple same thing for example now we need to find out HCF of the same fraction so LCM of fractions is LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators you can take HCF concept also almost same just simple formula you need to take the reciprocals for that for example HCF of now same fractions I am taking instead of confusing that 2 by 3 and 8 by 15 2 by 3 comma 8 by 15 so here HCF of fractions HCF of let examples HCF of A by B comma C by D and so on so that is HCF of numerators now so whatever they asked that is for numerators should apply HCF of all the numerators which are A, C and so on or all the numerators of HCF by LCM of denominators which are B, D and so on same LCM if they asked LCM you apply for numerators HCF you apply for denominators if HCF is asked numerators for HCF and denominators is LCM so HCF highest common factor of these two fractions is HCF of 2 comma 8 so HCF of 2 comma 8 by LCM of 3 comma 15 we'll take this so as you know HCF and LCF of the integers we know we can do that so HCF of 2 comma 8 so general division method 2 divided by so when you take small here 8 so 2 4 is 8 so once you get 0 so this is the place 2 2 is HCF of 2 comma 8 now LCM of 3 comma 15 3 comma 15 LCM division method you can do 3 table 3 ones are 3 fives again 5 table 5 1 and 1 so 3 into 5 so that is 15 is LCM of 3 comma 15 so that is 15 now finally HCF of 2 by 3 comma 8 by 15 is 2 by 15 so this is a method we can do LCM and HCF of the fractions so as you know already fractions so HCF and LCM HCF is HCF for numerators and LCM for denominators if it is LCM then LCM for numerators and HCF for denominators the simple formula if you remember we can do for the fractions for more videos and PDF files you subscribe and visit www.foundationforiat.blogspot.in thanks for watching this video